This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations 2, everybody. What an exciting first case. The killer almost murdered, like, everybody. everybody. He, at the very Edgeworth least... might be dead. We it's don't know it's yet. Miles Edgeworth, I Ace don't Attorney know. Investigations it could be the rest of it, he's path. playing as a ghost. <laughs> it turns into ghost trick, too. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so it's March 25th, 4.45pm. We're in the president's private plane still. And he's not dead. <laughs> okay, he's fine. Did... Did I pass out? Mr. Edgeworth, thank goodness you're safe. Mr. Edgeworth, are you okay? Okay, what about you? Okay, I can immediately notice a few things. Um, all of the security cameras are out except for the one on the bear. All of the He stuff took the yoga mat! <laughs> yeah, the yoga mat is now gone. Also the thing next to it. I think that one of the things next to the spacesuit is gone. Um, gas masks are still there. Mm -hmm. I think the alarms might be gone. Is the door still the same? Door is yes, still the same. Door is still okay, the same. cool. I just woke up myself. My head's throbbing a bit, but it's no big deal. Detective Gumshoe, what happened to the killer? Miss Swift came running out of the plane. She told us the killer made a run for it, but... We were too late, sir. We heard from that bodyguard that the emergency lifeboat over there had been stolen. He's probably at the other side of the lake by now, sir. Didn't you seal off the park? The police were all called back to surround the plane. Right now, there's no one guarding the opposite shore. Ugh. That means he succeeded in giving us the slip. Sure seems that way, sir. Mr. Prosecutor. Horace Knightley. It seems you, you also had a narrow escape. Yeah, that sucked! That punk! Come to think of it, we found this near where you fell, sir. This is... The killer's calling card. Hold up, he only leaves one of those when he's stolen. Or when he's finished a job, right? Yeah. So that means he either killed the president. Tails, did you find the president? Or he might have, like, stolen something. Hmm. Because he left one of those when he stole something, right? No, he left it after he killed uh, Juan Corrida. He left one with Maya as well, remember? That's true. Or that was just like, a spare he had lying out. I but don't yeah. know. Looks like a message from him calling card data jotted down in the organizer. He always leaves this card next to his victim's body. But you're not dead, sir! Perhaps this signifies something similar to a killing. Which, rem the investigation. which reminds me, the last thing he said still bothers me. However, I have already seen the truth. I leave the rest in your hands, Mr. Prosecutor. His hand's really long. Like, did you see that? Yeah, his I did. His coat sleeve went to, like, here, and then the rest of his arm is like, bah. It was such a badass pose, though. Yeah. Seen the truth. What did he mean? Yeah, it's safe now. Hmm? What was that? The president will be making his entrance now. The president. President's the killer. That'd be amazing. There's that buff guy. Quang. <laughs> he has one of those badass beams. All I can think of is Squaw, get him firewood. We <laughs> Look at that those name. muscles. Look at those muscles. Uh, it's kind of, he does he look He looks a little like, like Donkey Kong. He looks like one of the Kongs that you would beat up in Jungle Beat. <laughs> Dread Kong. Dread Kong. Yeah, he looks like, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get out the bongos and be like, <laughs> cow. This man is the president of Zhang Fa, Dijun Huang. You are. Huang. Or was it Huang? I don't know. I always thought it was Huang. Huang. It's probably Huang, though. Huang. It is an that's honor our, to meet you. Our... My name is Miles Edgeworth. I am a prosecutor. What? I am Dijun Huan. I have heard of your deeds. You saved my country from a great crisis. Is he referring to the Yadagarasu case? I was simply solving a murder. Nothing more. Such modesty. I have been observing your investigation. An astounding performance, despite allowing the killer to get away. Thank you very much. So he was watching for the security cameras. However, I regret that it ends here. What do you mean? He 
Heed my words! <laughs> Foolish prosecutor, I hate you! You suck. <laughs> this, he's like turning into Von Karma here. <laughs> you should have been already informed by Nightly. This investigation will be handed over to the esteemed police force of Zaynfa. Now that the killer is gone, they intend to take over the investigation. Hey, pal! What are you doing? And what's with that attitude? It's because of the killer and Mr. Edgeworth that... Enough, detective. Mr. President, I cannot agree to this. Why must this investigation be handed over to your country's police? Because we're police is better! Why? You say? Know your place, puny prosecutor! Must I explain my actions? Nay! I think not. You shall hand over all the evidence you've found so far and leave this plane at once. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, be a good boy and do as you're told. Nah, I cannot resist any longer. And then the I think I spit on the screen you quite a did. bit. You were. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> You were, <a> prosecutor. <laughs> you were doing the hands. <laughs> it's not enough for me to flip everyone off. I have to spit on you too. <laughs> All the evidence handed over to Knightley. Why? Why won't he allow me to investigate this case any further? Because he's been paid off, maybe. Two twenties. No, <laughs> Even so as a you're... president, he needs his money. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe what happened is it's like, um, it's a, you know how a lot of times they'll be like, our reputation's too important, we need to up, like, we need to keep it looking good. Mm -hmm. Maybe, like, they paid someone to be like, oh man, someone harmed the president president's great Me, and like because his his r approval ratings were really down right there were rumors that his approval ratings were going well down. i think so so maybe it's like his r approval ratings might be going down oh <laughs> what, no well, what term of presidency is this because only america i think has the two-term limit so oh could, really well we didn't have the two-term limit until after fdr yeah because they're like bro maybe you should not <laughs> we kind of need a new president well, right, because if you were in, like, England, for instance, you're, like, the king or the queen until you die. And then right. whoever succeeds you in your family. And presidents in other countries, it could be, like, there's no term limit as long as the people still want yeah, them in charge. Yeah, I feel like countries either have, like, presidents, kings, queens, or emperors. <laughs> so he's, like, Empress. he's 58. So Is he? I think so. Let me check. I'm pretty sure he's it. definitely late 50s. Actually, yeah, we need 58. To look 58. Okay, let's keep... I. How old is a... Uh, the horse? He's 24. 24, okay, and then And then and Ethan Rook is 35. Okay. Yeah. So it could just be like, this is like his eighth term. People are just kind of want mean, something new. Here's the thing. No president is that buff. <laughs> so I, I I'm wondering if he's kind of like the mob underworld kind of guy. Who's just pretending to be the president? No, it's the double whammy. He's the president and he's like the leader of the underworld. Oh. So, so, so he he's like, like a, he's going to be the final villain, do you think? Could be? Because if you think about it, it's like, you have to, the smuggling ring's done. Mm -hmm. We never met the smuggling ring president, right? We have, the leader of the smuggling ring was Alba. Alba? Uh, Master Uguay. Was it, though? It was, yes. Okay, so what it could be... Because he was trying to make it look like it was Manny Cochin instead. Right. Hey, it baby. could be, I mean, he knew that eventually someone was going to slip. <laughs> oh, there's also a theory that um, Manny Cochin, because we're like, there's no way this guy's like 24. Uh -huh. There's, a, there's, um... Like a rumor going, or not rumor, but there's like a theory that like when they translated it, they like just swapped the letters, the numbers by mistake. So he was supposed to be 42 instead of 24. That would make a lot more sense when you're like 24. And you're like, he's done some math, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> now then, would you kindly take your leave at last? <laughs> you're just talking about math. Nightly, place the suspect under firm restraint. Yikes. I'm on it, Mr. President. An attempt on my life, the murder of my subordinate. Such evil! Such sin! Oh, man. I, I I didn't kill nobody. I swear. Shut your trap, lady. Uh... You dare question me? You dare stain the world with deceit? He is Should we pardon this sin? You're not God. <laughs> yes, acting... I am. No. <laughs> he is kind of acting like Thor or Zeus. <laughs> Or that pose, though. Should <laughs> All the we, power is mine. Can we, can we make this a meme right here? I feel like the president could be massive memes. Should we pardon this sin? <laughs> Just with that. That actually yes, this screenshot right here would be a great meme. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make it into okay. a meme. <laughs> Nay, absolutely not. It is most unforgivable. My reasons being, 
There's no mistake. The president is hiding something. <laughs> He's look still his, talking. Look how big his mouth is. <laughs> Edgeworth's just not even paying attention. His mouth to his could words. fit Edgeworth's entire nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's not that hard. I don't know. I'm not even try that. Obviously. If I turn back now, the truth will be lost forever. Mr. Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth, is there nothing you can do? I remember. The countless times I faced this dilemma in the courtroom. The lies of the witness, the rebuttals of the defense. I did not always have evidence to counter them. Nonetheless, I updated the autopsy report and all was good. <laughs> I was still able to draw out the truth from them. That's right. My words alone are my weapons. Okay. Ooh, look at that background. Ooh, let's do some logic chess with the president. Now then, let's analyze the situation. <laughs> so mad! <laughs> Leave this place at once! This is a direct order from the president himself! <laughs> He's not even listening. Any rebuttal I give, he cuts off. When he has that forceful attitude, I'll need to watch the situation carefully. Oh, do I have to play this? Yeah, you have to play the logic chess. I'll play logic, what is it again? So, X is confirm, and then the arrow keys are the oh, move up and down. My opponent is the president of Zane Fa. I don't think he'll show any weakness easily. His words may be overbearing, but I need to not be intimidated. If I observe his behavior closely, I should be able to read his emotions. First, I'll start by asking him about his reasons for taking over the investigation. Now, let's begin. A good opening line will put me at an advantage. Logic begin logic chess. chess. Um... Remember the time limit. Yeah. I'd like you to explain your reasons for depriving us of our right to investigate. Impudent fool! Hold your tongue! There is no reason! That should be enough of an explanation for you! I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Let me try another line of attack. No, I said that one. Please, allow me to confirm something about the investigation. NAY! I don't recall granting you permission to speak! You're uh, not God! <laughs> wow! Wait and see, I guess. I am the president of Zane Fa. You shall not talk back to me! Jeez, you aren't God, sir. I'm not talking back. I am simply asking for confirmation. This investigation will be taken over by the police of your country. Is that correct? Exactly! That is all I will say! Restrain yourself from making any more unnecessary comments! You think I'll restrain myself? <laughs> hmm. That's enough! Being on this plane is tantamount to being on my country's soil! You cannot do as you please! This plane? Is there something significant about this place? I should remember this clue. I'd like you to explain your reasons for depriving us of our right to investigate. No! I already told you! I am God! There's no reason! <laughs> so shut up and get off my plane! <laughs> hmm, perhaps that clue may be useful here. <laughs> Gathering from what you've said so far, does that forceful attitude of yours have some connection to this place? <clears throat> you insolent! Earlier, you said that being on this plane is like being on your country's soil. From those words, I was able to deduce the answer. Namely, that is... You wish to claim extraterritorial rights inside this plane. Am I correct? NOT THIS AGAIN! <laughs> we had this in the last case! Did we? Oh, that was like a huge part In the plane? No, not, case? not in the plane case. No, in the last case of investigation. Oh! Ha! This is an extraterritorial I mean, rights. rights! You can't do anything! Yeah. Now I'm going on my plane. <laughs> That's enough! I shall brook no insolence! Uh, I guess I'll s wait and see? I don't know. If you have nothing to say, be gone! You're wasting my time! Ugh! It seems I should have been a bit more decisive there. Oh, okay. Ooh, time limit thing. Okay. I must not be intimidated by his words. If I observe his behavior closely, I should be able to read his emotions. Yeah, he was sweating a bit there, okay, so you so I put have on to, the pressure. So, I have to yeah, you have do to do this again. So you can just skip the text quick. If you're the fool, I will flip you off! <laughs> Edge refuses a pawn to take on a knight. Yeah! Hmph! 
and she was getting flashbacks to the last case. Not extraterritorial rights. <laughs> you seem unsettled. You seem unsettled. Settled. Your words are forceful, but I cannot overlook them. The moment I mentioned extraterritorial rights, your face grew pale. That was calming. In light of your brazen courage, I shall grant you an answer. That's right! I am claiming extraterritorial rights inside this plane! However, what does that change? You are still powerless! There is nothing you can do about it! Mm. I see. Under international law, the plane would be considered part of Zane Thaw. How convenient. Hm. If he wishes to stake this claim, then I shall question its validity. Oh, okay. Full. Every time you break a chess piece of theirs, you get full time. Okay. Next move will decide the outcome. He may be the president, but there is a hole in his logic. Let me break it wide open. Well, yeah, he's a president, not a lawyer. I challenge the validity of your claim to extraterritorial rights. Do you truly understand what it is you're saying? Of course, and I stand by it. You dare doubt my words? You have no shame! You're, You're the, the shameful, shameful one. one! That's not the thing to say. <laughs> Haven't you realized it yet? I have you cornered. Nonsense! You're just wasting my time with pointless chatter. Ah, that was a needless statement. Really? I must not be intimidated by his words. If I observe his behavior closely, I should be able to read his emotions. I'm gonna try that again. I challenge you! Are you serious? I'm the president! <laughs> Haven't you realized it? I have you cornered. No, you- Is this the same thing? Every time you basically say the wrong thing, it says that. Oh, no. I must not be intimidated by his words, oh, or his abs. Uh, oh man, his Oh muscles. man, his abs. Permit me to say this. Don't you feel that your actions are too forceful? Who asked for your opinion? All you need to do is obey! <laughs> Dude, you're not God! <laughs> Forceful is the wrong word. It is authority! Leadership! Everybody must act like they're God. <laughs> so you arrested Miss Swift because you felt you had the authority to do so? Yes! That girl is a criminal! There is no room for dispute! Let me spit on the screen this is, even more! This is the most sexist man. <laughs> you're right! She is a criminal. Okay. Can I just wait and see, I guess? The shooting took place outside the plane. Only she could have done it. That's it. The shooting occurred outside the plane. This could be a very important clue. Eh, is your claim valid? I challenge the validity to your claim to extraterritorial rights. Are you serious this again? This is the third time you've said it and you've just <laughs> insulted me. <laughs> Such irredeemable ignorance! It troubles me greatly. We're not even in your country! <laughs> you don't know about me? <laughs> There's no need to worry. I do not need to be saved. <laughs> um, Jesus already did that for me. <laughs> it is Miss Swift whom I wish to save from these false charges that you have laid against her. I admire your tenacity. However, your wish is unattainable. <laughs> the extraterritoriality laws are unshakable! This plane is Zane Fa territory! <laughs> <laughs> hmm, it's time to use that clue. The the, 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 I thought it said the plane came from outside. <laughs> the plane flew in from a different country. <laughs> Indeed, I do not question your extraterritorial rights inside this plane. No, he actually stole a different plane. <laughs> He's like, it's not my plane, so technically I can't call for extraterritorial rights. <laughs> Maybe if I speak loudly, nobody <laughs> will know this. <laughs> <laughs> However... You just claimed that the shooting took place outside the plane. Yes, if it didn't happen inside the plane, extraterritorial laws do not apply. Your claim has fallen apart. Miss Swift's arrest is invalid. Yeah. Yeah! Impossible! To be bested by a mere prosecutor, I am the president! <laughs> Checkmate, Mr. President. <laughs> this is too good, and this is so bad, too. He's like, I am Watch God a chess itself! <laughs> this is making me think of- I saw this 
Animal Crossing comic where it's like, I am mayor, I am law, and I say I want sea bass gone. <laughs> you never Basically. seen that? <laughs> Mr. President, will you allow us to continue with our investigation? No. I'm so mad. No. He rips no. his shirt. Calm yourself, Mr. President. It's okay. You're secretly, still God. <laughs> secretly, he is the Hulk. I yield. I will allow it. My heart is generous. My heart is tolerant <laughs> and merciful. Yes, oh, right. right. Therefore, as such, oh, let me flex. Oh, certainly. Thus, we shall. It is our duty for a most noble cause. <laughs> Gentlemen, now is the time. I, the president, president of, of Zane Fa, for the sake of the investigation. This guy sure likes beating around the bush. I think he just likes to hear himself talk. I think he does. <laughs> He's practicing for his next speech. I think speech. he likes flipping people off. <laughs> that too. Knightley, we have received the president's permission. Could you return our evidence? <laughs> Here. Knightley returned all of the evidence. Except the you, coat. He really liked it. <laughs> you did it, Mr. Edgeworth! Indeed. Now we can resume the investigation. <laughs> it's funny how happy you are just because I gave you your precious pieces back. Mm. Now let's see how well you used them. <laughs> Pay attention, then. Here is my next move. Mr. President, may I make one more request of you? Hmm. Would you please testify about the moment of the incident? Testify? Hey, hey, hold on a sec. That's your next move? Isn't that the sort of thing you'd leave to the courts? Naturally, it's a courtroom procedure. However, I'd still like to hear what he has to say. If he refuses to cooperate with the investigation, he will have to give a clear reason. Th that's... Is there something wrong? Knightley, stand down. I shall grant the Honorable Prosecutor's request. I thank you for your cooperation. Now heed my words! Oh my god, look at his eyes! eyes. <laughs> President's <laughs> testimony! <laughs> He's just like buffering. Hey, his screens went back on. That's not accurate. They probably just turned them back on after the killer left. No! The killer probably just turned them off so they wouldn't see him on the security cameras. Maybe. President's testimony. Where was I when the incident occurred? Ah, oh, yes, the stage. You, you had to think about that for a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's where it happened. Then, Rook and Knightley suddenly appeared and stood in front of me. After that, I heard a gunshot and a red balloon bursting. And so, those two attempted to escort me into the plane. Only one of them did. But then, the second gunshot. The bullet pierced through Rook's body and struck my bulletproof vest. If that's the case, then the president's a victim too, right? It was an assassination attempt. Mr. Rook just happened to get caught up in it, unfortunately. But isn't it strange? Why would the victim want to interpret- or inter- interpret? Why would the victim want to interrupt the investigation? Of course. If this becomes public, it would cause problems. I see! There- then there's still some deep, dark secret hidden in this case, right? Certainly the President, and perhaps Knightley too, know of this secret. Without fail, I shall reveal it for all to see. Ooh, buttle. President's testimony. <laughs> Where was I when the incident occurred? I actually don't remember. Oh yes, I was getting hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> he was getting ice cream from the assassin. Are you aware of just how serious this incident is? You naive man! Do you think I would be perturbed by that question? Perturbed? Of course, I am well aware that a coward attempted to shoot me. At the time, I was on the stage delivering my speech. He and Von Karma need to go to the spa together. <laughs> I am the president. I don't need the spa. I have my own. <laughs> but they're like, they both seem very strong. They both just strong. yell. <laughs> they yell a lot. <laughs> they suddenly appeared they in need, front of me. They need some tranquil experience. I took too many happy pills and they were <laughs> hallucination. He took too much five hour energy. <laughs> <laughs> it says it gives you energy for five hours. Taking two of them will give me energy for ten hours, right? Have you seen, have you seen that Odd Ones Out video? Where it's like, if you uh, drink maybe. like... If you drink, like, this many bottles of 5 hour energy, you will have eternal life or something I dumb. definitely did not see that oh, one. Oh, that one's It was just, like, a hypothetical. Did you realize there was a shooter when they appeared in front of you? What was I doing at that time? Ah, uh, yes! The speech! During my speech, I was in a euphoric state! A state of nothingness and enlightenment! <laughs> so, you got nervous and you blanked out. 
Nay, I have not forgotten a single occurrence that transpired during my speech. When Rook and Knightley appeared in front of me, I was surprised. <laughs> they were taking the spotlight away from me, the they were, president. They were right next to him the whole time. Does he they not were have behind him. Uh, uh, let me, let me. Do they not have peripheral vision? <laughs> <laughs> well, Knightley only has peripheral vision in one direction. <laughs> I heard a gunshot and a red balloon bursting. <laughs> A red balloon. Ouch. Yeah, that, that might hurt. <laughs> you try my patience, prosecutor! <laughs> that was not my intention. I just want to make sure your recollections are reliable. Hmph! <laughs> there were balloons on both sides of the stage! Swelling red in the cloudy sky, as laid out in the security plan! The security plans? Ah, the one from the bag. They stepped in front of me just before the balloon burst! And so the two attempted to escort me into the plane. Attempted to escort you? What actually happened? That's right! Attempted! Rook and Knightley raised their attache cases. That's the moment shown in case photo. They led me towards the plane! My plane! Because I'm the president! <laughs> but then My the plane that I definitely didn't steal! <laughs> How would you steal a whole plane? It's possible. <laughs> that would be a movie in and of itself. That's history, like... history has shown that that is possible. Um, actually, that that's, was that's hijacking, actually. That's hijacking. That's hijacking. And also, that was before all the crazy airport security. That is very mm. true. Now, <laughs> I don't know if there's crazy airport security. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, the president's voice kind of wears down on my ah. vocal cords a little bit. I have to yell everything. <laughs> Seriously, do you need water eventually? Uh, after, the, after the recording session. We're close to the end of the recording. What happened after the second gunshot? Pitiful prosecutor! If you don't know that much, then you're not fit for duty! Mm. What's that supposed to mean? I grow weary of needless repetition! It should be quite obvious! Even you should know the path of the second bullet! The bullet pierced through Rook's body and struck my bulletproof vest. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, losing his voice too. <laughs> <laughs> he actually just has like a normal voice, but then... Oh, the president! <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my Edgeworth voice is also suffering because of me doing the president's no, voice. No, you you sound fine as Edgeworth. When the bullet hit, what condition was the victim in? He just sounds a little tired. Oh, he was truly a man above men. <laughs> Still groaning from the bullet's impact, he grabbed hold of me and dashed into the plane. So you entered the plane along with the victim. I am to be protected. Rook was to protect me. That was his role. He speaks firmly. But it feels like he's just dodging the question, sir. He he's... takes him into the plane, and then he, he whips out a knife and just stabs him in the spot that the bullet was passed through. Because the bullet... Is... Why? He, uh, he would already be dying at that point. I Just make it end faster. I don't know. He's a president. That's to be expected. There was an awfully long time when we didn't get to go near the plane. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything out of place. Since he's also a victim, uh, he wouldn't have a reason to lie, sir. So, what's he- what he said? <coughs> Sorry. There's a lot of phlegm in my throat now. So, what he said should be nothing but the truth. On the contrary, there is one point that stands out to me as odd. Try to recall- <coughs> Alright, enough. I, I have to call this out. We will be back after these messages.